Hi, this session is about how to draw the diagram of a plant cell. We will give an outline of a hexagonal structure because plant cells as you know they have cell wall and always it has a rigid structure. Let's start with a hexagonal outline. For hexagon you draw two lines. And just join at one point here. Same thing here also. Draw two lines and join. So this is a hexagon. Simple, right? So let us assume that this is the cell wall. So since cell wall is a tough and rigid structure, let us darken it in the beginning itself. So you can just keep your pencil in a slanting position and make it little thicker. Make this line thicker, which represent the cell wall. Now what is there inside the cell wall? Since plant cells are living cells, they will be having a cell membrane. And cell membrane is very closely aligned to the cell wall. Very closely placed to the cell wall. Now what is there inside the cell membrane? Cytoplasm. And just give a shading here using your pencil, smudge it inside and this gives a jelly like appearance to the cytoplasm. here so this is a cell wall of this cell now this cell is always very closely associated to the neighboring cell so let us just draw the cell wall of the other cells as well here so this is a cell wall of this neighboring cell this is the cell wall of the other cell which is present here this is the cell wall of one more cell which is here next to it. So these are all. Why we are drawing these lines? Because these plant cells are not isolated. They are always very closely associated with the neighboring cells. So these lines that we are drawing here is actually representing the cell walls of the neighboring cell. Okay. So the blue line is actually the cell wall of this cell. And these green lines are all the cell walls of the neighboring cell. So if you look at this diagram, this animal plant cell is surrounded by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 cells. And these green lines are the cell walls of these 6 separate cells. Okay. Now let us move on to the nucleus. Now do you think the plant cell is having a nucleus right in the center like an animal cell? No. Because plant cell will be having... A central vacuum, a large central vacuum where the cell sap is present. A lot of water and a lot of solutes will be present. And this is present here right in the center. So what happens is the vacuum will be pushing the nucleus towards one of the corners. So let us draw the vacuum here. Vacuum here in the center. It's a large vacuum that I am drawing here right in the center. So because of the presence of this vacuum, the nucleus is being pushed. So I will draw a nucleus here towards this corner. And nucleus, as you know, they are surrounded by, it is surrounded by two membrane, double walled membrane. And these membranes are porous for entry and exit of molecules in and out of the nucleus. So you can draw these pores here. Just clear these lines and draw these pores and see if you can see the nuclear pore. And what is there inside the nucleus? They will be having a dense region which is called as the nucleolus and then the entangled red light structure which is called as the chromatin network. Uh, once a plant enters into cell division mode, then it becomes a condensed and forms chromosome. But right now, since it is in a, a, a thread-like structure, we can uh, call it as chromatin network. Now, this is the 
vacuole and vacuole as I said it's filled with water and lot of other solutes it's the cell side which is actually present inside the vacuole you can just shade that also okay now what are the other organelles present definitely since it is a living cell it should have mitochondria right for energy production yes so let us draw mitochondria here mitochondria is always long oval shaped structure and its inner wall is always wavy because so just clear this line and draw waves here in the inner part, inner membrane. So this is mitochondria, this is a matrix and it will be having a lot of enzymes required for respiration. Now what is another important organelle which is found inside the plant is chloroplast. Okay, so chloroplast is another important uh, uh, thing which is present inside the uh, plant cell. So let us draw chloroplast. So chloroplast is also almost oval in shape. So this is the chloroplast. Chloroplast has an outer membrane. It has an inner membrane. And what is there inside? It will be having certain structures. Disc shaped structures. And these disc shaped structures are called as thylakoids. And many disc shaped structures like this it's called as grana. So each one is called, this is called as a grana which is made up of many thylakoids. And these granas are connected by fret membranes. So these are these connections of the grana is called as fret membrane. So fret membranes are present and the grana and the grana is made up of thylakoids. So what is the function of uh, chloroplast? It will be having chlorophyll inside the thylakoid and they help in photosynthesis. Okay. Now it also contains definitely it will be having endoplasmic reticulum. So I will draw the endoplasmic reticulum as tubular structure and numerous membranes very closely packed like this. So this is an endoplasmic reticulum. Now if the endoplasmic reticulum is having ribosomes attached, it is called as a rough endoplasmic reticulum and this side doesn't contain ribosomes so it is called as a smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Now these ribosomes can also be seen freely in the cytoplasm, they help in protein synthesis. So you can draw ribosomes here and there. Then, it also contain, the plant cell also contain Golgi bodies and Golgi bodies can be seen very close to the nucleus. They are cup shaped structures and membranous cisternase which are stacked one above the other associated with some lot of vesicles. So this is the Golgi body and generally only one Golgi body can be seen in a plant cell uh, and this is called as a dictyosome in the case of a plant cell. These are the microtubules which forms a cytoskeleton. And there will be some connections with the cytoplasm of one cell with another. So these connections are called as the plasmoprismatum. Let's start to label. Cell wall, cell membrane, rough endoplasmic reticulum, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes, vacuole, mitochondria, lysosome, chloroplast, plasmodesmata, microtubules, chromatin network, nucleolus. This is a nuclear membrane. Nuclear pores, Golgi bodies, and that's it about a plant cell. Hope it was interesting. Thank you.